Hello world! Today we're going to watch me tinker and work on some Christmas ornaments that will be for the family this year. Um, I try to make one every year. There have been years where I've stopped. But uh, I decided, hey, why not go through and let the fam and friends see the process. Um, I do not own the rights to the music you may be hearing in the background. That's that's Caleb. See? Scott from Caleb. Not sponsored. Mm. Step one. Coffee. It's decaf, so I want y'all to calm down and not tell me what time of night it is. And it's a school night. I gotta work tomorrow. Okay. This is not gonna be a tutorial. This is what I'm going to be using, and this is me talking you through the process of what goes through my little tinker head um, as I work on ornaments for you guys. Okay, so a lot of this actually came from Dollar Tree, so it's affordable. It's just time consuming. Okay, let's start. Let's jump in. You will need, I said step one was coffee. Step one is almost always coffee, just, just so you're aware. You'll need a box of these Tumbling Tower, aka Jenga, uh, blocks from Dollar Tree. You're going to use the whole box. I don't like math, but I think, I think, if I did it right, you'll get 24 or ornaments. But don't quote me on that, because we know not to, not to sign me up for math. So, I've already painted mine. What you're going to do is you're going to take three of those wooden blocks, glue them together with a glue of your choice. You can even use hot glue if you want, but I used this so that they would be pretty sturdy. So... I like this glue. I like E6000. But E6000 for me, once you open it, you have to use it pretty quick because it starts squirting out. And it's just chaos. And since this was already open, this is what I used this time. Okay? I don't know where I got it from, but that's what I used. So, you will need some sort of glue. Wood glue, hot glue, whatever you choose, you will need. You glue the three together. Okay? Then you're going to paint color of your choice. Now, I chose red because I'm going to make my ornaments here this year look like Christmas presents. And this is gloss apple red, little can of paint, 8 ounces. I actually got this from Dollar Tree. Mm -hmm. I got two cans of this and it's this beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm happy with that. So there you have it. So glue three together and Lord, mine ain't perfect. So don't y'all look too close because they're just, they're not ever going to be perfect because it's me. But let the glue dry completely, however long that takes. And then you paint, you let that dry, however long that takes. Okay, so it's a process. All right, so we need that. And then, you don't necessarily need a cutting mat. This also came from Dollar Tree, highly recommend. And this is one of the Crafter Square rotary cutter. Uh, my sis Tia picked me up, she actually picked me up two of these and I'm so glad she did because this thing, oh, so good, so good. So, you will need something to cut with, whether it be a rotary cutter and a mat, or a good old pair of scissors, okay? Alright, so for the ribbon, I got, and you use whatever ribbon you want, you're going to do, basically you're going to wrap it around your three blocks, just like you would a uh, ribbon on a package, both ways, alright? That's what I'm doing, okay? That's the idea. So, you cut out... You, you do this however you want, basically, but what I did was cut a whole bunch of strips at once so I could do like an assembly line thing because that's how my brain works. But this is some vintage ribbon that I thrifted. It's a whole spool. Is it? 50 cent. I thrifted this ribbon for 50 cents. It's beautiful. Let me drop it. Green velvet ribbon. Okay. That's what I'm using. So I think it's pretty. And I didn't know what else to do with it, but it's it needs to be used because it's too pretty to just rot. You need something to decorate your package with. This is your choice. I have some of these Dollar Tree bows, so I will be using these and some other things probably, but like my, my bell, some of my bells. I probably have bells because it's me and everything has bells and glitter. I mean, are you new? You'll need twine, whatever color your little heart desires. This is also from Dollar Tree, okay? I'm choosing green. You cut off strips of the twine. You knot the bottom. Then you take that and you glue it to the top. This is as far as I've gotten so far. So, I made several of these. So, let me finish tying knots. So, this is what we're going to do. And try not to sing so that y'all don't run away and be like, Oh my gosh, she was singing. She's playing music. You're not supposed to play music. Why? Why can't you play music on YouTube? Somebody tell me that. Oh, I need to know. Just, I don't understand. Like, 
Is it all you can't play music if, if you're like sponsored and monetized or something? Because I'm not, so I don't really care about that. I'm just doing this for my, me, myself, and I. Somebody let me know in the comments down below. Is this riveting? Probably not. Let me just finish this video and then we'll decorate one and then move on here. <clears throat> I just find that when I'm doing ornaments like this, if I do sort of like a, an assembly line thing, and this probably came from work because, you know, when we do pre-packing for kits and stuff, do a lot of steps in a row so that you like you count out 20 of this and whatever so i'm sure that me doing it this way has something to do with the way we do stuff at work oh you know uh running for the hills yet i'm running now Okay, um, this is the last one. Alrighty, ready, ready. You also need a glue gun, a hot glue gun. Every kind. You know, Dollar Tree has hot glue guns. I actually bought one because some of the crafts that I pinned on my Pinterest, they require like glitter glue sticks and or crayons, and I don't really, I got two glue guns that I use for regular glue. This one is what I'm using today because it's wireless. You just charge it up. It's the Sure Bonder or something. Or, I don't know. I love it. And then the one in uh, Violet over here is just a regular one I got from Michaels. I love it too. So I wanted to get like one that I didn't necessarily care too much about for the glitter glue sticks and crayons. So I found one at Dollar Tree. So I'll let you know how that works. All right, let's do some fun stuff. So this one I've already glued the little hanger basically is what this is gonna be on the top so now I'm gonna, I'm, i need to decide which side is going to be the front side and again these are not ever going to be perfect because lord knows lord knows i'm not perfect so you, you need two and my thought is that's a little too long for that so i may have cut these too long we may have to make some adjustments no that's good that's good there okay hopefully one of these is shorter because i thought if you decorate the tops it's not going to matter that this isn't all the way over that's my thought that's my thought process so let's do that. Alright. Let's do a little, little dab of do you. Y'all wanna turn how many times I burn my finger into like a drinking game? Don't people do that? I have these things. These also came from Dollar Tree and I love these things. But my fingers are little so it only fits on my thumb. So it's not much protection. But I have these tweezers for when I need to poke, poke, poke something. <laughs> So, you don't necessarily need either of these if you're not clumsy. I am, in fact, very clumsy. So, I glued a little strip there. And then I'm going to glue down the back. I'm not doing a whole lot of glue because I just don't think it needs it. So, a little dab right there and probably a little dab right here. Then we show... That's a little long, so scissors. I had scissors. Oh, I found them. I'm not very smart. Okay. So that's cute. Okay. So now, now, I'm going to put just a little bit more to get that edge down. And I can use my thumb now because there we go. All right. That part's down. Now let's do this part. Same deal. A little dabby dab. I love my craft space, but I hate that all my plugs on this side. And I'm right handed. I can use both hands. But I really like using the glue gun with my right hand because I'm better with my right hand. So, y'all didn't ask. Y'all probably don't care. I'm just sharing some information with you. Okay. So, here we go. Here we go. Put that down. Boop. This velvet ribbon is nice too because it's a little thicker so it doesn't bleed through and burn your hands as much. Just an observation. Another little dabby dab. Put right there. I've been drinking, y'all. It's just coffee though. And it's decaf. It's not even full octane. And boom. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I got that glue right there on that. Let's see if I can 
Have y'all used those uh blue eraser residue eraser things from Dollar Tree? I'm interested. Do they work? That's coming up pretty good. That's okay. It's the back of the world. Have it be. So looks like a present. So now I'm gonna have to figure out what they want to put on. I know a bell. We'll do a bell. I got a bunch of bells, all different kinds and colors. Give me a bell. I don't want everything to be green. Let's see. Maybe a gold bell. We have to have a bell. I mean, we have to have a bell. And a bow. Bell and a bow. We don't really need a... Oh. We all use these glitter. We got those, these little sandwich pie kind of things that you can find on something, which is nice. It's just I don't need, I don't need it this long. So let's cut that down. Now, let's see. Do we want the bow right there? Or the bell, or do we want just the bell? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? This is a fun part. Figuring out exactly what you want to put there. And I also got some of. Ugh, give me that. These little thingies. These little filler bits and bobs. They sell them in bags at the Dollar Tree as well. All kinds of little... I know y'all seen them. So, do I want to make it just look like a present and put like a bow and a bell or maybe a bow up here? And then a... That bell don't want to go. Maybe that's a sign. No bells this year, Shannon. Put a bell there and pine cone. Or just, we just want to be simple and just do a bow. What do y'all think? Oh, I need to figure this out. All right, give me a minute or two. Let me sit here and think. Y'all don't need to watch me think. I'll be calling the fire department because smoke will be rolling out from my ears or something. All right, here's what I landed on. Now, let's see if we can recreate this. Okay. So, basically what I did is I added a bow. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree also has these little rhinestone stickers. All different colors. I got a red one and a green one. Now the bows from Dollar Tree have a little, these bows anyway, have this little silver one in there. So I just took one of the green stickers and the red ones and put them on either side. And then I had some of these beaded garlands. I buy these when they clearance these down and I cut them and use them for beads. And some red ones. I, I don't know where I got them from. I can't tell you. I've had them for years. I've been using them forever and paid next to nothing. Um, pine cones, like I said, came in that filler bag from Dollar Tree. Bells, I get them everywhere. And these little beads, or berries, came from a wreath that I thrifted just for these little berries so I could cut them off. So that's what this is. And some of this plastic little greenery. It used to be a candle ring from back in the day, but I'm using it for the leaves. I thrifted it. I don't know where, so we dug deep in my craft stash for this year's ornament. So that's what I came up with. And, you know, it's a little busy for some people, most people, but I like busy, so, and it's me making the ornament, so I think, actually, I think it needs some more leaves, but we're going to leave it alone for just, just now and put that there and see if we can't do another one. All right, here's what I did. You saw me glue the doohickeys around, but it was kind of hard, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try it. We did that one uh, by gluing the the hanger on first, right? I think this time we're gonna do the opposite of that and glue the ribbon on first and then the hanger and see how that goes. So, let's do a spot of glitter. Glitter, this is not glitter. Dang that, this is glue, I don't think. See, that's why I need full cream coffee, not this decaf crap. Y'all got me. I didn't decide which side was, and I guess this is the front side. We done made the decision. We're gonna go for it. That's what I'm doing, right there. I'm doing it down here, you can't see it. There we go, that's what I did. Glue. I love this uh, glue gun because it's cordless. So this came from mm, Hobby Lobby, I think. Don't quote me. You should probably never quote me. To be honest with you. Boop 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 boop. Okay, there's that. All right. Now let's go this way. The only thing I don't like about this glue gun is it takes the big fat glue sticks, which like the big ones, the big, like the bigger than thumb ones. I don't like that. Mostly because I like to, you know, get my glue sticks at the Dollar Tree because it's cheap. Cheap. And I am still steadily working down here without being where y'all can see. Yep. Let's, maybe that'll be 
way better. Let's see. And see. See, this would be awesome if they were playing Christmas music, but yeah, you know, Caleb is, is also nice. I didn't glue that in the right place again. If y'all ever get like perfect ornaments that don't look a hot mess, y'all know I bought them. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <coughs> Okay. Okay, let's do this here. Yeah. Then I'll take the hanger now and figure out which side I want it to be the top. I think I want this to be the top. Let's glue that right to the toppy tip. Tippy top, tippy top. Okay. Don't fall. I think I should glue that the other way. Yeah. Oh well, too late now. God, my neck hurts. All right, let's get this done. Mm. What time is it? It is 7:18. That's almost my bedtime. I'm sitting here doing, doing so much. Let's see. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let's do a rainbow this time. Why? Because that's what came loose. I'm really not that deep, y'all. Boop, cut that off. Boop that thing right there. Do I really need to watch them? Their ornament fell. It was like, oh my god, this one's crazy. Keep her away from me. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, now, I'm safe. This particular set of beads that I'm, or garland that I'm chopping up has like a little bead and then a big bead. It would help if I got down here where you could see it. See? Little, big. And I'm taking the little one and a big one. That's what I'm doing. Boop. So I end up with that kind of situation. And this has like a little silver bead right there. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that little bead and boop, connect it. And then I'll add the, the gems. Just so you know what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. It's probably going to be the end of this. I'll finish this one because I really am getting tired and we'll start really messing up. Feel my nerves. There we go. Alrighty. It kind of looks like an angel hanging out there. Look at that. Until I add all the other fluff. See, I just, I like doing too much. It's like gaudy and tacky and wonderful and just, that, that's my jam. Anyway, moving right along. Now we need a green bead and I just want to open one of these is open, one of these is not. Uh, it was that one. Yeah, it was that one. One red, one green. These are sticky, but I always add just a dab of glue too. Actually, there's a little drop on glue now and all I'm gonna do is take here's where I should use the tweezers but I'm not good enough with the tweezers to grip this gem without it so there's that one now let's grab a red one and pull this glue dries and put the red one on the other side come on Bessie Whew. there we go okay done with that now it's got some leaves it's gonna take me forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not. Let's see. Let's come off of there. <sighs> Alright. Two. Let's throw them up in the air. Two leaves. I'm gonna glue that. Why you got to move? Stay where I put you, little turd. Yeah. It's on there. All right, now we do a bell. It's a jingly bell. Jingly bell. 
I laughed and I had a whole ice tray full of beetle bells until they realized that I actually use them. Cut one of these red ones. Does he does? Should probably put the other leaf down on the other side before I put. Yeah, let's do that. That's right. I've lost my beat different beat. Be nice if I had a chair that wouldn't say, gosh darn squeaky squeaky. Squeaks McGee. Pop a little ribby right there. Reach out, burn your finger. <laughs> That's the first time I burned my finger today though, so take a shot. And then we're gonna put a pine cone up in here. Why? Because I have them and I'm using them. And then I take a little cluster of these red bees and put them on the back. Because I like my ornaments to be pretty from all sides. If it seems like it's too much, then it's perfect in my world. <laughs> That's tinker logic. Follow me for more life hacks. Okay. Put the bees. These aren't bees. Berries. Put these berries right there beside that bell. I don't like that. But it is what it is. They're not perfect. But there we go. And we made another one. So now we have two. Only two dozen more to go. So I have a little tin over here. This is one. That's also a glue poker. These in here. All right. There goes my end of my. This is not a tutorial video. I'm tired. 726 mm. but I'm gonna end this video here so that I can crank out a few of these before I go to bed and focus probably gonna turn Kayla off and turn on uh, Christmas music on because that gets me going when I'm creating Christmas hope y'all enjoyed it uh see you next time